All right, just a second there, uh, Craig. Sure. Watch Amar hit some balls. He does have an amazing stroke, incredible touch. One of those beautiful players who can actually get to the point where they almost look like they don't care, uh, yet they can perform perfectly. Most of us know that uh, you know these these guys are a couple couple monsters. Mm -hmm, definitely, this should be an excellent match. Pool monsters, cool pool gods. <laughs> be nice. Uh, this will actually be the first match I've ever seen Manny play in person. Um, very curious. Like I said, I've got a lot of experience with Mar. Mm, yeah. Well, last night he uh, you know he played me. Uh, mm. Beat me four games straight. Uh, I don't even want to you know get into what the score was, <laughs> but. Um, I'd just say they're all eight, so. uh, Then afterwards, he was playing Scott Frost. So, okay. you know, uh, if he's going to step up to Scott Frost, then, you was know. There, uh, did they have a lot of activity here last night? Uh, there were some, yeah, there were some people here. It wasn't a lot of action, really. It was uh, uh, just, uh, you know, a lot of people warming up. There mm -hmm. was some action going on. Brandon Schuff was here uh, hitting balls for a while. And... Uh, uh, Ma Manny was here, room, Amar was here, yeah. just warming up, and Santos was here hanging out. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of real activity uh, or playing. John Henderson and Jerry Matchin were both here, you know. Yeah, there had to be a game played somewhere with both of them in the house. There were a few games going on. I, I just, uh, you know, had just arrived myself, so it was difficult mm -hmm. for me to focus on anything. I couldn't, I wasn't much of a railbird yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, we got action today, that's for sure. Definitely. Some wonderful pool players, some amazing players here today. That's right. Let's, and uh, um, the equipment is jam up. I'm ready to go anytime you guys are. Alright, game on. Yeah, right, that's what she said. <laughs> so uh, this is it. We're gonna have Oh, thank you very much. Manny Chow versus Amar Kang. And, uh, you know, Amar's been, Amar's been playing quite a lot lately, mm -hmm. and he tells me he's been hitting them good. Thank you, Barbara. He's been putting the miles on and getting out and uh, playing the new venues and new people. And yeah, I have a lot of, I have, you know, I have a, a great admiration for his game. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been watching it over the, you know, past couple years, and, uh, you know, I've even wanted to see them. Uh, him match up and getting something serious with Oscar Dominguez again, oh, okay. even though they Another did something a few player. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, if, if Amar can get on that plane where he's teetering on the verge of not caring, he can play jam up. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. uh, Just don't want to see him outthink himself, but not say anything negative because his game is beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. yeah. Um, but Manny, as I said, you know, I watched him beat Efren Reyes the other day at the Swanee mm -hmm. a couple months ago. This will be a very good match. I figure this is going to be a three-hour match or a 45-minute match. Yeah, this could go either way. And I'm just uh, updating all the social network stuff. Nice. And we had 60 players here, yes? Good tournament, 4,000 added. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, was it 64? I, I, I never did get I, a confirmation on that. Buys. I was fortunate enough to get one of the buys. I paid an extra three dollars. That's right, you're actually in this, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I play at seven. I'll be playing uh, Steve House, who just beat Stevie Moore. Uh, okay. So I had a good win. Looks like a Mars racket, so he's going to be breaking. Great, good. 60 players, I'm hearing. Nice. Scott actually playing, what, right now, is he not? Playing Diego Vidal. Yes. Scott Frost on the other stream table. Yeah, uh, Diego is a good local player. And what I'm going to do is, uh, for those of you who do not know the actual link, 
to the split screen stream. I'm going to send it to you now so that you can watch both streams in one window. Compliments of AZ Billiards. Like I want to thank billiards? yeah, I want to thank Mike Howardson and Jerry Forsyth for well, looks like a Mars for Lake their assistance. Good, right? yeah, very good break. Let's see what the answer is here. You can almost get down to that bottom right, looks like, and bank 12 out. I'm not sure. He's going up top. We're going to move some balls here. Well, didn't hemorrhage. Just want to remind everybody as well, uh, please uh, give us your assistance in promoting that link for the split screen stream. Apparently, uh, the few people had uh, noticed that it was a difficult uh, a difficult link to find. So if you guys can post out in Facebook or whatever publications you guys or forums you guys join, uh, please put the AZ Billiards split screen stream window or the, the link somewhere so that uh, other people like yourselves can find it. Yep, get it out there. Let's get everybody watching. Hey, Marsh trying to keep the wraps on him, Harry. We're gonna bank that three across, do something. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Mm -hmm. he, uh, I don't know if we can bank that 13, come back, knock the 8 out, or make it across to the 8. Looks like the 9's in the way. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying, but uh, that 9 ball at the bottom of the table there. Mm -hmm. I, no, my, my commentary is just, yeah, I like to think aggressive. Yeah, I kind of like moving the 8 ball. Yeah, I, I, my first thought is bank the eight into the 13, into the nine, kill your cue ball by the side pocket. We'll leave a bank on the four or 11 probably. Sure, sure. But there's a chance for good things to happen. He's he, I think he's gonna be careful though because there's a four, 11 cluster, mm -hmm. the five, 15, six, just, those are all possibly bankable balls. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of reward. Everything's tied up to his yeah. hole here. You know, he might be better off trying to stick him, stick him behind the nine somehow. Mm -hmm. I think he's going aggressive. He is. Look at this. That's Look at this. Bad. Bad. Took care of his cue Look ball. at that cue ball. Wow. And he went down under the 13. Huh? Cue ball was his main concern there. I was hoping to get something job or something, something yeah. groovy. Yeah. Uh, groovy, I like yeah. that. Yeah, there you go. He's got this six ball. If he can pocket this ball without scratching, he might come close. He cut a ball like that on me yesterday, man. Oh, wow, he overcut that ball. Well, it could have been a decent move there. Well, Amar's obviously going to be uh, combinating this ball in. 13-6, probably drawn back on the 8, something like that. Yeah. That's one thing I love. You asked me earlier if I appreciate uh, 10 ball or one pocket more, and it's definitely one pocket. Yeah. There's just so many options. Uh, I tried to explain it to my dad once. I said, you, know, you can have 10 people watching a 10 ball match, and everybody pretty much knows what the next shot is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can have 10 people watching a one pocket match, and you can get four different opinions. That was the play. 13 come back over. He's hoping to catch the bomb of the five with that 13. Yeah, but. Uh, 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 gave him some error. But yeah, you can have four different opinions of 10 people watching one pocket match, and then the guy shoots something nobody mentioned. And he's just going to bunt. Yeah, I don't know if he can get to that five ball. It doesn't look like it. Got to be careful here. Yeah, and uh... yeah, that's a very dangerous shot there. I'd two roll that five if he can. I don't know if he can. I love the two rail between the three twelve. But no. <clears throat> I like just tipping it again. I was gonna make sure he doesn't let him bank some. Bank that nine across. Uh, I think that's a good shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took me many years to actually get that into my head that bunting was okay. Bunting is more than okay. 
bunting into a pack and uh, taking a stretch, mm -hmm. scratch is okay too. Certainly, certainly. Yeah, well, we're getting a, an exercise and fine touch here. Well, you know, Omar doesn't want to leave that cue ball anyway, anywhere, n n you know, near the end side rail because, mm -hmm. you know, there are just two banks that I see. Yes. No, that's not okay. <coughs> two, possibly Bless three. It's a very dangerous table right now. Bless you again. Thank you. Well, and looks like he, I think he's going to try to freeze behind the five here. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know. No, this you, is too you, much think, you think too he much was trying to do yeah. that? But no, I think he was trying to get up on the five, like you said. Uh, Miscalculation. This this, yeah, this is too much air. Well, that's one of the things that can happen. You get in that little bunting game, and then you actually got to let one out a little bit. Yeah, you lose. Not there. You lose. Uh, you lose control of your. You know your pace a little bit. Or can you see it? Oh, you can oh, see it. Oh yeah. That was. On that little rub on the bottom of the eight. I call that the Filipino gene rub. Yeah, I, 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 I got to tell you, I think I think Amar's in for a match. I, a lot of people think they're going to take uh, they take Amar any day on this, but you know, uh, well, if he's going to beat Mayor like that, yes, without doubt. But no, like I said, I've heard quite a bit about this Manny Chow, and I uh, I don't know if there's quite a bit of foul power and quite a bit of knowledge, and I heard. Mm -hmm. him talking to someone they were sitting next to man. He's a, he's a huge three cushion fan. Uh, that was his original game, he said, which is one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful game, teaches you a ton about the table. And uh, many, many of the theories roll over into one pocket as far as being able to, to get into certain spots and whatnot. And I, uh, I know Mark can play three cushion, but I don't think he has quite the background. So I'd have to put a check mark in Manny's side there. You know, I forgot to offer you the opportunity to. Did, did you have a Facebook? You want to let people no, know you're. I don't have a Facebook. Okay, yeah, all right. No I'm problem. I'm kind of a caveman when it comes to all that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, first game. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah. You try to get cute and what I do, what I call a, a, a chill hand, rail, bottom rail bang. I'm telling you, Manny, Manny's a sleeper, right? I mean, he, he's not even a sleeper, man, because a lot of people know who he is right now. All right. As long as he can get by this first ball and end up with something, he should be out. Everything's right there. He'll come out for the eight, probably. Yeah, hit it strong. Well, this is definitely a first game. He, uh, he hit that about three clicks more than he needed to. But that's to be expected. Well, that that could have been worth a lot more balls. Mar just dodged a big bullet. Yeah. A big yeah well, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I don't see, I don't see why he shouldn't try this combo, and, and, and if he makes this five ball, uh, still in trouble, uh, he's trying to get the eleven underneath the five. I don't, I think thirteen might be in the way. You know, another way to play it is off the eight. I mean, no, I don't like that. I no, because he's got to cut it too much. The four's going to kill it right he's, there. He's trying to get it off the five. Yeah. yeah. Well, Listen, Amar's not out of the woods, but he dodged the bullet because that that easily could have been eight. Two six were the only two tied up balls, and they're broken easily off 15. <coughs> yeah, I see people are typing in. Oh, yeah, we got, we got the chat room. No, I know I can't. I tried to spell it, but I got hooked on phonics and, and it's ugly. It's an ugly come down. Let's see what he does here. He's just got to get rid of that one. And yep. He's getting under it. That's nice. the way to do that. Nice. You know, Omar's got a good, really good cue ball, mm -hmm. you know, for this game. Oh, he's got amazing touch. Uh, I've seen him hit streaks where it's, it's disgusting. It's not even really human. Uh, yeah, you know, the late great Grady had a line. He used to always say, "A shot like that is disgusting to me." Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, well, he's uh, yeah. man. He's got a chance to do something here. Well, don't be. He wants to be aggressive, but not too aggressive. Well, he's you know, good speed. That was the that's that was the consequence of that shot Amar played, as he yeah. wasn't able to get the eight ball high enough above the rail. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, you just left the bank. You know. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I can game of chess. You know, this situation came from about two or three situations prior. That. Oh, oh my goodness. My. Okay. This is the first game. Well, the ball. The ball count is two. Right now. Two, and this. Uh, should be a lot it's, more. It's an amazing game. Uh, how it can should change be, so quickly. Should be a lot more. Yeah, because technically they should be racking and breaking in the second game already. But all right, we got more one pocket. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we got longer one pocket. And that's what I said earlier. You know, this can be a three-hour match, or this can be a forty-five-minute match. Well, I agree. Um, of course, I was thinking more along the, the wedge lines for the, the three R match. Well, they they look like different players, but their 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 pace is the same. Well, it's uh, you know, it's one thing that you need to have to get to a certain level. You need to have a pace that's natural. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, your brain needs to be functioning on the, the same lines it does when you walk down the street. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you're making thousands of calculations that are very precise, but you you don't mm -hmm. worry about any of it. Yeah, I find though the hardest thing to do is to adjust because there's such good ten ball and nine ball players too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hardest thing because like right now he's looking at the bank on the five and the eleven, mm -hmm. but a nine ball player would play for the you know would wouldn't you know really play for that yeah, shape. You got all those open balls, they're just going to play. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And so he actually is playing this like a nine ball player right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Where he could have just taken. Yeah, he needs he needs to, to get loose. He's not mm -hmm. loose yet. He's mm -hmm. still, uh, you know, and that that tends to have you decelerate on your stroke, which ends up with position like you have on the three. But right. you can cut this ball in. Be better. Need a well. Hit six. Yeah. Uh, he can't quite get it right, but he's he's still paddling. I do have to say, Manny gave me some chances when I played him yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, but I was missing, so. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I've, I've played pool for a long time, and uh, they're all human. Uh, you know, uh, the world champions, they will give you opportunities. Oh, yeah. There will be times where they won't, but you just don't want to catch them on those moments. Sure. Sure. Okay, that was kind of a that was that was smart. That was a creative shot because he's creating penalty. Yeah, because he's 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 yeah he's basically created an urgency for Manny to get down there now. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, what do you do here? Hmm. Uh, I don't know how much air there is. You kick the under people. the seven, hopefully. Uh, uh, two rail kick under the seven. A two rail kick. I mean, he could go one rail and shorten it a little bit with a little English going between the the one twelve. Or I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's. Oh, uh, he had a. Okay, he's trying to be cute and bank it across. He, well, he was trying to accommodate the four seven and get them yeah. both out of there. Hopefully, yeah, one kicks over. Problem with that is there's even a double kiss off the four seven. General, yes. Yeah, so yeah. The way I always hit it, of course, the four ball sticks dead in your opponent's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I consider it a skill. Uh, <laughs> That's like Barbara. She says uh, she she knows how to scratch more ways than any other sure. player. I will tell you, if you if you write it write it up right, it looks great on a resume. Yeah. <laughs> so, by the way, what is your pool resume? Or well, I, uh, I was born in San Mateo, which is north of here, about 30 miles. And it's funny, Chet Ito, who opened California. Mm -hmm. I knew Chet for many years prior to this place opening. We used really? to play in a weekly tournament at uh, Executive Billiards in Redwood City on Wednesdays, and it was always just Chet. You know, never gave any inkling that, you know, he had the firepower in his wallet to open something like this. Yeah. You, know, you can see this is this wasn't a thirty-five thousand dollar room. Uh, sure. I've come to find out he was a, a mucky muck engineer. You know, smashed atoms or did NASA or something amazing. Absolutely. Uh, so which is thought, which is one of the reasons why he built such a great pool hall. Yeah, well, he was he was incredibly meticulous. Yeah, uh, his details were top notch, and it, yeah. exactly that's why he came out. He, with he went great nuclear product. engineer on this place yes. when he built it. And this, <laughs> this is you know, is one of the best rooms on the West Coast. Absolutely, I think. absolutely, uh, without a doubt. That, yeah, and I uh, went to college off in Sacramento and worked at the Joint Queue for Terry Stone. Year while I was there and played okay. a great American. All right. 
back when Wayne and Bird owned it. And, uh, it was, I feel blessed to have been able to bid there in the late 80s, early 90s, because the room hopped. Uh, it was like going to the carnival, because uh, there was a ton of money there and everybody was gambling. It was just oh, unbelievable, so okay. much fun. And I, uh, I've worked in several rooms. I was, there was a room called Hollywood Billiards in San Francisco on Golden Gate. I was actually mm -hmm. the general manager there for almost two years. I see. Uh, after Jeff Bay sold it to uh, two guys, uh, Donnelly and Mike Colstock. I worked oh, okay. for Mike and Don. I actually worked for Jeff for a little while as a daytime bartender. Oh, did you? Know. you? Okay, because I've uh, known Jeff for on and off for 25 years. It's a right on, funny story when I was, uh, we're not even talking about the pool, but they're running balls here. What's the score? Well, the Amar's ball. has got six, so Manny's got four. Uh, Amar's got seven. Seven, pardon me. So, yeah. so Manny needs all of them. Yep, he's officially desperate. And, well, you know what? He's in a position. I could see him running four balls right now. Yeah, well, you make this bank and bang, bang. bang, bang. You want to play a little short because it's muggy outside. I tell you what, he makes this bank and two more. Coming. He's gonna he's gonna send shock waves through Omar. It's one thing I've noticed a lot of people haven't picked up on because we've got muggy weather outside. Everything's banking a little bit short. Yeah, Just in fact, even John Mora was having a little trouble banking yeah, this morning. I'm surprised to see as many people not pick up on it yet. All right, so Mars pointing for one. He's got to be careful here. Probably just going to try to stick the cue ball to the end right now. If he leaves him the bank, make him earn it. I'll put it forward to the side rail probably. Yeah, so I'm going to try to roll that forward to the side rail. And take a little bit of the bank off the, what is that, 14 down there? I can't tell. See, he's got a pretty, yes, pretty shot 14. here. But if he goes forward to the side rail with the cue ball, he takes this away. That was a little too free. You know, I think that that cue ball actually skidded off of his cue a little bit. Now, is this the red dot we're playing with? I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not, not a measle ball. Yeah. So, no. yeah, this is a totally different game. Uh, this is what I was raised on, the red dot. Uh, I tell people it's nice. It makes you feel like you have a stroke. Uh, I don't know how you read and talk and watch the match. That'd make me throw up. It's a... Uh, <laughs> It's a hidden talent. Nice. Oh, this is this is okay, but not great. He's gonna be able to do something with this. And then he's gonna bank that six. He kinda has to. Put his cue ball down. Good shot. Good shot. He needs to uh, do anything he can to get some balls. <clears throat> you gotta make sure uh, he tries not to leave a bank here, which is difficult to do. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa, he held that cue ball. He, uh, he got actually about six double kisses in there. He double, yeah, he yeah. actually had to double well, kiss the, that. You know, that that's 14. the old uh, Jersey Red trick shower. Uh, you know, double kissing across. And oh yeah, the double kiss. Yeah, but not angle, from that yeah, angle no, though. Tough angle. Yeah, yeah, that's not but from he that came angle. Close to. Yeah, that's a great shot. Mm -hmm. Looks good when it's done on purpose, but it's yeah. usually never done on purpose. No. <laughs> but I tell people the key there is just to don't miss a step. It's exactly what you meant to do. Yeah. Yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan used to say some of his best guitar licks were just mistakes he remembered. Yeah. Well, I played guitar for a while too, so. I can butcher I three chords. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> I can shred three scales. Nice. <sighs> I'm just gonna kick it then, I just pumped him. Oh, there seems to be a roll on that table. Yeah, Have well, you seen that? Did you yes. see that? Yeah, that did roll. That's that's awful trusting no matter where you are. Well, you're going to hit the ball that soft, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there were a couple of other shots there, too. Sure, not even many options. Uh, yeah, he could have two-railed that and played some shape, and actually hit something in lightning and gotten out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's trying to be safe. First game of the match, you don't want to give it away. And usually what happens when you try your best not to give something away is you end up giving things away. I'm going to just go for the bank. Is that based on your experience? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, he's, he's banking this ball. You know, the book says you don't want to get that ball in play, but the bank was pretty fat, so he took it. Well, Manny's got what he needs now. Everything's down at this end of the table. He just needs to figure out how to get the first one. He's doing it again. He's really trusting the table. Mm. Not a bad shot. Looks like the ball counts dropped. Did, did I miss a, yeah, a scratch by Manny. Yeah, it's 7-4. I didn't mind that, you know, that's, that's but I consider a move like that. You're putting a band-aid on a severed arm. Because uh, Mark can just put something down table and leave him way down there, and, and that five's still sitting there. Yeah, he just needs to create some distance. I mean, I even like feathering the five ball and just leaving the cue by mm -hmm. the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe even get the cue a little bit further down behind the five, and mm -hmm. between the five and those balls. Even if you just get something down table and out of play, because he only needs one. He, he just needs everything. So. He just needs to hit that top right. Okay, I see yeah, what he's doing now. I don't know. You go back to that 14, you get shape on that 6, and it's relatively free. Uh, yeah, if I was more there, I would have tried to okay, walk look, up a ball. Look at this shot. This could be the end. Uh, because if Manny misses this. I would have banked the 14 and tried to get up on the 6. But yeah, so now Mars back in that six to a big pocket. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a huge, huge pocket. pocket. Now he's going for 14. I like the 6. Well, 14 is a little safe with the cue ball, but yeah, I like the 6 too. That 5 doesn't look frozen, so that pocket's massive. In fact, I like the 6. Well, yeah, he's, I think he'll, just, he'll go for the 6, I think. I like the 6 and just follow the ball. Well, he doesn't want to leave him anything. He doesn't want to leave him anything. No, make he's him either try to. Well, what's he doing? What in the world? I don't understand this. Well, he knows it his worked, game better worked, than I do, worked, so that, that was, was Mark really, Kang yeah, nice shot. Very kicking uh, nice his shot. last ball nice in shot. to make that a 1-0 match in a race to four. This is a winner's side match, guys. <coughs> and uh, next match is going to be coming up at 7 o'clock. I don't know who it is yet, but as soon as I do, I will let you guys know so that you can, uh, you know, figure out your plans for the next mm -hmm, few hours. Mm -hmm. I'll tell a funny story when I was working for Jeff Bay at the Hollywood, I was a daytime bartender. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have the one of, downstairs in the basement? No, upstairs. Okay. Golden Gate there. It used to be Cochran's. So was pouring. Oh, you know, right. Reopened as the Q Club by uh, a group of people, Dave Pione, Goni, Brianza. Um, so I'm working the day shift, just a normal day, and I got Chicken George, who's a local player there, and I've got this guy who comes up, uh, says looking for a game. I said, well, I'll put Chicken in with your 50 a game. He says, well, I'm looking for more like 500 a game, and he hands me his business card. Okay. It was Harry Plattis, and I didn't know who Harry Which Plattis is who? was. Which is Harry Plattis from Seattle. Okay. So I made a couple phone calls, and I have never seen such incredible amount of activity generated uh, from one business card. Everybody called. Is Harry there? Is he left? Is he playing? No anybody? kidding. Oh. Just amazing. Mm. Yeah, and I didn't know who, who Plattis was. Well, I knew who he was, but I didn't, ne had never met him. That was a wonderful room in San Francisco. I never uh, did get the chance to uh, to go up there. Uh, I'm, I was in La La Land. I don't see how we got to where we are here. But Mars uh, had a chance to do some damage. Yeah, what did I miss here? We, I think he broke. Okay, he must have broke. End ball squirted out, almost popped oh, the ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, one, one of those, one of those he breaks. Might, might have to pay a little here. Well, Hollywood Billiards South is closed now. Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, all those paintings that Jeff had down there, the huge paintings and whatnot, all the decor he took from up in San Francisco. Oh, did he? Oh, it was a beautiful mm. He stripped it. Okay, all look right. at that. Nice breakout. And Omar's going to continue his run. Thank you. Okay, he's got 13. I'm not sure what else he's got here. The 14 2 looks like a doable combo. Uh, you, know, you can try to drop down, tap the 11. That'll break everything open if you can float across the top of it. Tough, it doesn't have much angle to do that with. Let's see what he does here. He's juicing it a little. Yeah, yeah he, wanted to come, he just wanted to tap the top of that. 
Hit the 11, hit the 6, break up those two balls, and click, click, you're on your way. So he's probably going to just roll this ball in, put him down on the 14, try to freeze him probably. Oh, he's banking the 5. No, he's going to get done. Yeah, just cozy up there. Barbara. It's a good shot. Barbara. Did you do me a favor? Mm, and he's gonna try to bank this nine. Find out from Lenny what the next match is he's doing. No, oh, no, it's just position the cue ball. <clears throat> he should have a post. Let's see Amara. It looks like the three ball. Looks like three, fifteen, five, fourteen. All that goes. So Amara has to be careful. Uh, he'd love to bank that nine ball. Uh, dun, dun, dun. I mean, there's a couple kooky shots for the. 15 off the 5, get all that banked out, but that's crazy talk. I mean, that's 6 11 combo. No, that's crazy talk, too. He's gonna try the 9. Probably just gonna position and put the cue ball down the table, I think. Don't think he can go for his pocket here. Let me just position a little bit. You see, that 3 ball goes, and I think it's too low for him to do anything with it. It's kind of a do or die shot. You see, he can bank this nine ball. Look at that, eight, six looks good. He can just bank that with some speed, put his cue ball back to the table. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Yeah. I mean, he could even two rail this nine ball into that deuce. Get under it, into it. All kinds of things could happen. He got it, yeah. yeah. I think that might be a good shot. He's gonna play the 8 6. Wired for sound. And shape. Yeah, he's on. Like I said, all those balls go. You see, 5 open if you can get on the deuce. He should come up, tap the 11. There you go. <coughs> That's a fine shot. It doesn't look like any problem here. Got four, three in the open. Yeah, the and uh, Amara only has one. Yeah. So. I'm just thinking if he should go five ten. If he had a little more space, it'd be good to go fourteen five. He'll go five. He's going down for it. Okay. I think I would have gone up for the ten there. Uh, mm. I think Manny just needs this ball, so I, I don't really know what he's pounding on the ground about. No, he's good. Amara's got three, so six ten. He's got five right now. Uh. Are you yeah. sure Mar has three? Yeah. Thirteen seven one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, That's I'm looking okay. at the wrong uh, the wrong gutter. Yeah, Mar dodged another bullet. I mean, that was. Uh, oh yeah. It wasn't uh, in hand, but that was a very doable out there. I think he should have come up for that ten ball. He's tried to stay low. Little bird told me once, always go to the top of the rack. Sure, sure. But he does have heat on Amar. Amar definitely has issues here. You can go for this bank. You gotta make it though. And he's going. Look That's at a that. Good bank. He didn't do anything with the rock, but he made the bank. No. It's a it's a little odd that he went for that though. I mean, I don't well, know. He didn't really have much he, else. He went for half of it. He went for the pocketing, but he, you know, if you're gonna do it. At least uh, get in a position where you can get rewarded for success. And yeah, he didn't really do it. Yeah. Cue ball. Well, I'm, I might have. I might have just played the, the cue ball, freezing it up against the 811. Well, you can go rail yeah. first and bank this cross again if he likes it. Oh yeah. Oh, he's just softing it. Oh, uh, well, he's just this uh, table's rolling a little weird. See, I don't know. I don't know how much I like that. I don't know. But if he can bank that eight, he should. I don't yeah. know if he can. Rough tail in the chat room is saying that the eight is dead, but it won't be for long. Yeah, the Mars Hall, huh? Yeah, he left the... He's gonna pepper on it? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I didn't like that play from Lamar too much. He had uh, better options. Well, of course, that's easy for me to say here. I've only it's, missed two balls since I'm I've been sitting you, in this chair. I play real good for I've only missed two balls since I've been sitting in this chair. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, technically the 10 ball goes, but I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. Um, well, he's, you know, he's been caroming off those balls by the rail. I mean, just make, make the 10 off mm -hmm. the eight. But you, you leave a couple of banks to him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it was too. It was too frozen, and it drifted. Yeah, yeah. yeah Frank Norman in the soft, back there. Yeah, you play that soft speed. Yeah, uh, you really have to hit the ball thin for it not to double kiss. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's gonna be uh, one to Manny. One. Game, Manny gets on the wire. So we have a match, guys. Yeah, it's official. And uh, which is surprising because you know most of these matches today have been kind of going uh, sideways. You know, a little mm -hmm. lopsided. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we yeah, had a uh, four -ones, John four Mora versus. Uh, oh gosh, who the hell was it this morning? The first match. <laughs> I, uh, they make me feel bad. I don't uh, know. Well. Uh, John and uh, Brian Butler, that went, mm. uh, I think, 4-0, and then Josh Ulrich and Corey Duell went 4-0, yeah. and mm. this is, uh, it's nice to see a match, uh, the, the opponent get on the wire uh, for once. Well, it's, uh, you know, the, the game, I've played one pocket, not a terribly long time, probably about 15 years. Mm -hmm. Even in the short time that I've played, it's, it's really morphed into a much more offensive game. Uh, you know, the one in safe, two do, in safe. Do you think that Efren, uh, the Filipinos, had uh, anything to do with that? Uh, well, I think Efren's changed everything. And as far as watching one pocket, Efren's my favorite because he almost always makes the correct choice. He almost yeah. always hits it flawlessly. Sure, and sure. 85% of the time, it's something so incredibly simple that it's like, wow, okay. It's amazing. It's such a, you roll about two inches and it can be so effective. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yes, I would have to say he has just because the man has figured out how to always find the shot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like Hoppy said, I remember reading, you know, there's always a shot. There's always a way. Ah, uh, sure. You just gotta know it. And the quality of the equipment that we play on now, uh, you know, the Simonis, uh -oh. yeah, that's no good. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, you can you can rely on the way a ball's going to roll. Sure, although we've seen two uh, roll off already. Right? Yeah, but, but uh, generally, even yes. to further extremes back in the old days. Oh, though, sure. You know? I mean, the, the stuff I learned to play on Christmas trees. If you wanted to get down the table, you really had to do something. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you couldn't roll it. Well, I'm almost out of coffee, and that makes me sad. Uh, well, if you're uh, if you need more coffee. Uh, <clears throat> I can actually, would you like a cup of coffee? No, I'll, I'll grab her if she comes by. I'll, I'll throw my cup at her. A lot of, uh, yeah, a lot uh, of our guests aren't used to doing this, so by all means, if you do, if you feel like you need to take a rest or okay. anything, please let no, me know. This is the first time I've ever uh, gotten to do this. Yeah, and, great. Uh, yeah, as long as you don't want to kick me off. I love to talk, <laughs> and I love one pocket. It's funny though, I don't really talk. I'm a pretty quiet person, but I talk pool. I'll sit and talk it all day. Great, that's good. Well, you seem pretty knowledgeable, so you're hired. Nah, yeah, right on, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't go with my original uh, mindset, which was a lot of threatening tones and profanity, so I decided not to do that. <laughs> well, uh... <clears throat> all right. Back this is an NC-17 kind of <laughs> nice, channel, nice, so don't yeah. worry I'll about wait it. Till Most of the people the watching have grown up in a pool hall, too, so... <laughs> yeah, really. You know, this, this isn't a church. Well, I tell you, you know, like I said, I've played, I've played for 25 years-ish, something like that. I just felt another wrinkle come in. That's a nice... Oh, uh, it looks like it came up a little bit. That's what nice I'm saying try. is, if it slips out, don't worry no, about it. No, I dig it. But it's a great game, this, uh, this pocket billiards, three cushion, any of them. I'm blessed with the people I've gotten to meet and uh, the situations I've gotten to see. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's get back to one pocket. Mm, nice kill shot. Yeah. 
We banked a six ball, fairly free. You like that bank? Especially uh, the way this table's kind of... Well, again, like I say, it's a little humid outside. You can get that ball yeah. to grab. I was... If I'm not mistaken, I got a cool breeze behind my head, too. Oh. All right. It's interesting. Never mind. Oh, okay, we had Okay. It. He's just going to bunt a little, protect. I really don't mind going for that three. You come all the way across the table, bank the 11 next, put him down the end rail. He sees something. Uh, does Amar still owe one? I don't believe so. Oh, yes, there's a coin up. And uh, Manny's got two, two balls, He's right? He's got two. That's a nice shot. They hit that ball nice and full, got that cue ball to die. That was very nice. I think he's just going to kick under the 12, it looks like. And he's going to take, take the foul. Okay, that was no hit right there. No hit, but he got where he needed to. He'll gladly, gladly trade that ball. Because Amar's got a nice table. But 2-9, I don't know how it looks. I don't know if this ball's going to mess that up. It does, it looks like. Okay, there's a little discussion going on. I don't really know. Okay, it's probably just over ball placement yeah, or whatever. Seeing if it fits or not, because it does make a difference. Absolutely. And uh, Omar still does owe a ball, so. Yes. I mean, he might try to bank that six now. He's got good things that can happen as long as he can get the, get past that corner pocket to the end rail. He can come up four, come up three and do stuff. Cue ball goes down by the 11. He wants a little rub off that four. I you think know, that's what he was hoping for. Yeah. And, you know, I've seen Manny make these balls yeah. I, you know, I like the shot. I think he hit it just about a half a click too hard. He didn't want to leave a back cut. Oh, Amar? Yeah, yeah he wanted I to leave agree. that cue ball about half diamond on the side rail. Yeah, yeah. But he's... Or possibly on the other rail. Yeah, but he's, he's definitely got heat on him, which is what he wants. Raftiel in the chat saying to cut the 11 and get shape on the one. You come down under, yeah, it's you're like kind two, of, two rail shape. Yeah. You're putting the eggs in the basket there. Uh, look, at look at this. this. How about uh, that for shape on the one? <laughs> look at this. He junked it up. Yeah, he kind of did. It was looking good in the beginning, but yeah, well, something's something gotta go. Let 10 ball into the 12. I don't know. It looks a little junky. Someone asking, uh, Dora, Dora asking, who do you think the <laughs> world's best four ball player was? Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a good question. That is a good question. Uh, five balls open. All right, well. He's not happy, so. He's not in love with it. No. He's getting, he's gonna get one ball out of this and that's it, but he's. I, I don't mind banking the deuce, because you hit that four, it's gonna come into that 12, that six got a good chance. Uh, you know that's true, and just just put, hold up the hold up the cue ball a little bit, yeah, put a little bit of follow. A little bit, about third diamond frozen. You gotta get rid of the deuce. You can't shoot for any of the combos or anything with that deuce sitting there. So I don't know who the best four ball player was. Mm, he's, Mars trying to fall in love with this. I think they're a little too close to try the combo. Oop, pull my, pull my headset off here. I think you should bank the deuce going to the four. A lot of ways to make that six ball. Uh, let's go here. Let's throw this in. They're gonna play the 12 6, I think. And this is, uh, okay, now I got bank 10. And let's see, now he's gonna be trying to do the same thing he was with the deuce, which is get it up underneath and hopefully that 6 ball fall. It's a tough cue ball here. 
you got about three inch room where it works. He does cue ball, right? He played cue ball. And he kind of knew exactly what he wanted to do with mm -hmm. that 10 ball. And he did. Yeah. He, he, he looked at it. That 4 6 troll weren't there. laying bad for his pocket. No. Well, he it said wasn't. he was just going to ticky, ticky, ticky to his pocket. Exactly. Let's see. I don't know if he can get to that 11 now. Another 15. I don't know. So Amar pays his debt to society. Yes. And, he's, uh, even. he's even got a ball. So. Yes. One to one. How many yeah. viewers do you have? 130. Nice. 135 right now. That's sweet. Yeah. Not bad for day one of a five-day event you here betcha. at California Billiard Club, and we are just getting started. It's pr probably, like I said, I'm a dinosaur with the computers, but this is probably one of my uh, favorite things that's come along with the technology is the ability to uh, to watch matches from uh, around the country. Yeah. Uh, some people even thanked us in the. AZ Billiard Forum saying thank you for bringing pool to yeah, my living room. You fantastic, know? yeah. Sit in your underwear and watch it. Yeah. Well, he's gonna try like to, I'm doing right now. Yeah, like I try. Yeah, right really, now. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm only wearing my shirt. Actually, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I'd like to, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be able to figure out a way to do this remotely. Nice. You know, so nice. I don't have to like, you know, travel well, to SAC or uh, travel, not, not to SAC, but here, you know, I live in Los Angeles. So. Oh, okay. This is quite a trek. Yeah. But you know what? There's, there's something about coming to the venue too that I just love, oh, you know, sure. I mean, I've seen all the players. I, I was saying on Facebook actually that this is kind of like a reunion for me mm -hmm. of, of all the people that I've been meeting over the last year. Because yeah. I haven't had the chance to actually come up north and, and, and check out the rooms up here in the 25 years wow. that I've been yeah. shooting, yeah. you know? Well, that's, uh, you know, I talk to my dad about it a lot. It's one of the things I love about this yeah. game is the, the people that I've gotten to meet uh, from all walks of life. People with a ton of money in their pocket and people that ain't got two nickels. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. A much higher percentage than the percentage of just general public are good people. Yes. There's not many jerks. Not many. All right, and guy's just kind of bunting around now. Manny's getting positioned, mm -hmm. trying to protect it. By the way, I'm seeing a score of three to one in Scott Frost's match with uh, Diego Vidal, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Six to six in the game. Well, I think I am sure who's winning. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's uh, Diego's a good, good local player. Uh, but you know, the level of intimidation comes into play, and I, I think you might be feeling that. I'll tell you, you what, I'd probably fall apart if I was playing uh, Scott Frost right now. It's tough. It's tough, especially if these guys are on and they punish you for every mistake you make. Sure, uh, sure. It's and very he, tough. You know, the kind of game Scott's going to play with this guy is just a free stroke game. Oh yeah, he's going to let it out. That's, and this is what you need when you play a tournament like this, is a couple games like that where you're... You know, and I, and I recommend, I've always recommended to, to people to, to play in open tournaments, especially venues like this. I mean, for $125, you can have Scott Frost play you and then play Parika or Pac Lion or whoever is here, and they're really trying to beat you. Yeah. The amount yeah. of money you would have to gamble with them to get that serious a game out of them, $125 is nothing. And well, yeah, but uh, you'd have to play a race to five for 125 or something. Well, you, you know, like, you know you'd not have, one you, pocket, you'd have like to race put 2000 up to get them to play you serious, you know? Sure, uh, sure. And that's and when you really get to be involved in it and feel it and experience it, that's when you really have a chance to grasp it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then you know, start using your powers for good, so to speak. I remember. Yeah, uh, that's why I started commentating. No, there you go. Nice. Well, one of the first people I ever played one pocket with was a guy named Tommy Jackson at Joint EQ. Tommy's passed now. He was a detective for Sacramento PD. Loved one pocket before it was popular. And uh, I asked him, I said, how do you learn it? How do you play? I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like a pretty serious game, though. Yeah, what's death ball? Yeah. And I asked Tommy, I said, how do you figure out? He says, well, you, you go out and you get your teeth kicked in until you figure out you don't like getting your teeth kicked in anymore and you change what was causing it. Yeah, you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, I guess. All right, Amar actually uh -huh. did a little bit of 
work there. He just yeah, sorry, rearranged keep, the furniture. Keep getting away from the match. That's right, we got one pocket. Oh, it's wide open right now. You gonna bank the 11? Um, wow, look at that ball hold up. Uh, did I miss something? Because I'm think I'm seeing Manny on zero two right now. Yeah, two nothing tomorrow looks like. And he's got shots to his pocket. Yeah, this is this is the killer. Is when you go when you've got. You got a long shot. You got to let it and out. You now. miss that. Yeah. Then you sell out. Yes. You know that's the killer. And yeah, so they've been bunting. Hope he bears down and makes it. these po Brock pockets are brutal too. Wow. Okay. He's he wiggles in. it yes. in. Excuse me. Yeah. The, this equipment is very tough. Oh, they're I, as I've been telling the audience, they've just been Dominguezed. Yeah. Uh, about a week and a half ago, they were up here. Some of the nicest people I've met, the Dominguez's. I remember first watching uh, Ernesto and Oscar and his other son, whose name escapes me. Oh, uh, one of the twins? Yes. Yeah, because he has twin brothers. Okay. They were a great American way back doing tables, and they didn't even talk. It mm -hmm. was amazing to watch them do their thing. They, oh, my. Um, Man, he's, he's got a little hitch in the stroke. It okay, wasn't now. smooth. Yeah, and they wouldn't even talk. They were just seamless. All right, man, he's got an open table. See what he can do with it. Well, uh, the six and the eight are making a little problem yeah, here. Yeah, he'd uh, love I, I to. I see the four and the seven, but what do you think? Well. He's got a little angle on that four. Do you think he could swing up? And if he could sneak between the six and eight, ideal. But he might go. F yeah. Uh, he just whacked That's it. That's what I was okay. thinking. Swing up go. and hit those, those two balls. And he caught it well, and he was rewarded. Pretty much connect the dots here. He's got three. This is an important shot here. He got a good angle. I'm getting dyslexic all of a sudden with my typing. No. Man, he could be out here. He should be. He probably wants to get up on that six ball. Yeah, or maybe, you think he was looking in between to go like well, six, between the, the six the and the six nine? Six nine is ideal, but yeah. you know, you think too long about it, next thing you know, you're bumping into a ball like that. Like that. You know? Yeah, that's exactly uh, right. It's the kind of thing where if you see it, you just gotta get down and do it before mm -hmm. your mind gets in the way. You gotta know it's going there. It's the same, so like I said, it's, it's the same mentality as just walking. Yeah. Uh, no, they, they can't create some boogie scratch. Oh, he almost scratched. Well, Omar, uh, Omar must have had a second bowl of Lucky Charms this morning because he keeps dodging bullets. So what do we got? Omar's got three. Manny got five out of that. Yeah, I think he was. He should have just come up top, go on, get six. Then he just got hit one good shot and he's out. He can make this ball. It didn't hit great, but uh, not bad. A little smeary, but it'll work. Score now is 5-3. 5-3. 5-3 more. He didn't hit that very high. That's not a bad shot. He's going to bank that 14 right out of my bet. And I, I got to tell you, like, Manny's showing his colors a little bit here because uh, he's had several opportunities where he's he could have gotten way many more balls. Uh, I think, uh, than, you know, uh, both of these guys know that they're playing quality players. And uh, mm -hmm. they're kind of on the... Maybe heels, they're both getting a little yeah, rattled. They're kind of on their toes a little still. Yeah. He's going to bank this 14. He wants to make sure he puts enough pepper on it. Get that cue ball stuck to the side. I see he didn't get enough pepper on it. Well, it's not bad, but... I'm keeping the heat on him. Oh, my 
goodness. Made a little mistake there. Sorry about that. The scoreboard that I just flashed reflects three games to one, but it's one game to one. Sorry about that, guys. Going back to your Enron days. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Man, you're gonna look like you're kicking under that ball. And he's banking that one, just getting down table. Ooh, so good okay. shot. Well, he's got the lead. So the main thing now is keep that cue ball frozen to a rail and junk up whatever he can. Make it a war of attrition. It's funny, like I said, I've watched Amar plays since he was very young. You know, before Have he you really? blossomed, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I used to watch him when he was a B player. Now, did he learn a lot from Tony? It's him and Tony. Tony Chohan? I, yeah, sure, I know Tony yeah, very well, Because they're cousins, too. I know yes, that. Yes, yes. And Tony was the same way. Tony was a 35 in the USPPA, and then mm, mm. within two years, he's, he's beating everybody and their brother. Uh, I think, Pretty I'm not sure, but I think they went and spent some time with the monk, Warren Costanzo. Uh, uh, in a, look, at look at that, that's a nice little Whoa. shot, nice shot, uh, in Reno, and uh, yeah. you know, I, I think he taught them some things, not so much shots, but how to go about thinking of the game, yes, nice, welcome everybody, what are we at, 10,044, oh, 140, that was a nice shot, you know, that really was, it, it, you know, really the worm turns on this, this game, Suddenly, well, but you know, it's, he's and he only needs three balls. Uh, yes. Amar needs five. Yes. You know, there's a couple things Amar could do here. You know, he could play the bank, but that's throwing his cue ball around a little bit. And he's gonna cut that nine. Just soft roll it. I don't like that. That cue ball won't be able to kill it. And he's going for it. Looks like he's just going to try to float that nine ball and try to tighten it up and get down underneath the ten or whatever that is by us. Uh, that was a nice shot. That was good a great try. shot. Yeah, good try. He might get this ball. Uh, Amar might? Yes, I, I think uh, he, can, uh, he can get under it. Okay, I didn't see that. I thought it was in there a little deeper. Well, yeah, these guys are these guys are grinding away a little bit yeah, with each they other, are. and yeah. um, you That's know, because I gotta tell you, Amar, Amar has to be careful here. This is no this is no slouch he's playing right now. <laughs> yeah, they've been they've been hitting great shots until they get the out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But that's just nerves. Uh, you know, it's early in a major tournament. And these guys, uh, like I said, they understand that their opponents can hurt them if they do something wrong. That, mm -hmm. that will definitely mm -hmm. make you uh, not be as smooth as you'd like to be always. He's going to bank this cross, go down table. Uh, this is a good play. Yeah, they're trading punches. Well, he's looking at cutting this ball. Kind of got him handcuffed. He can't get to that 14. But that's awful risky. He can't two rail that 15, I don't think. Actually, he almost, oh no, he won't bank six. Maybe he's trying to bank six. He's cutting it. Yeah, it's awful risky. Awful risky. In the drink. Yeah, I appreciate him going for it, but there's nothing really to be gained. You know, he makes that ball, his cue ball's down in his pocket. Yeah. Awful risky. Uh, well, Omar had him behind the, you know. He was in a pinch. Yeah, yes. he really had him. I thought he might pressure. try to bank it. the screws on him there. Yeah, I thought he might try to bank it, come short of 13, go two rails, tuck it down by the one, maybe. But he was in trouble regardless. Uh, 
Yeah, Mars not quite letting go of it. It's a little tentative. Yeah, well, he's tied up the he's tied up the table now. It's four yes, to four. Yes. Well, he's definitely he's tied in the up the game. Seat. If he gets on this nine to get on the thirteen, he looks good. Okay. That's a nice shot. This is, I don't know if he'll go for the bank rule 13. Getting to that 13 is a little tricky. Looks like I was telling you, you can play it like a nine ball player mm -hmm. or you can play it by it like a one pocket player, you know? Well, if he goes for the win, he's, I think he's going to try to just smear it down between 13 and 6, which is right next to the line of scratching. Looks like that's well, what he's doing. Yeah, there you go. You just got to hit it good, make sure you don't scratch, get yeah. lazy. You know, the. The benefit of that shot is that he can make the 13 and then bank the 6. Exactly, you know? exactly, yes. Uh, instead of the other way around, if he sets up for the 6 ball bank, sure, he's going then down he lets table. the cue ball yeah. loose up, up table again. Yeah, it was definitely the right shot. He just yeah. needed to make sure he controlled his cue ball, which he did well. Mm -hmm. What do you do here? Uh, you got bank 6, got to bank 6. Well, to bank that 12. Oh, just fire it in, draw it back down to the end rail. Well, he needs this ball for the win. Yeah, then bank 6. Yeah. The six is probably a better ball. So sure. It's a. Uh, we should get it out of there. I mean, uh, right, right hand, the right hand English. A lot of right hand English. He's got to get that cue ball out quick. Or. And watch yeah, the or double left. kiss. If he hits a fatty, double kisses. He's yeah. going to go oh, left hand inside. English. Nice. What a beautiful shot. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to make it seven to four. Yes. Yeah, Manny got heat on him now. Because he's just going to knock this ball out, and Mars is going to bank stuff down at him. And he actually would be nice if he made that ball for him, but he just took another ball out of play. It just turns that screw one screw, one turn tighter. shot for Amar, wow, but... Uh, wow, wow, that's surprising. Didn't hit that very well. Yeah. Well, Manny loved to bank this over, go a couple rails and make that six ball. So you should hit a little firmer, make that six ball, get it back in play. Because well, he needs those balls in play right now. Those two tight up balls do not. Yeah, just hurt him. He would have liked it if that six went in just now. Sure, exactly. Yeah. Gets two balls in play. And Mars just going to bunt him around, try not to leave him an easy bank. Bank it over, kill the cue ball right there. Wants to hit this full. If it didn't hit full, and that cue ball yeah, jumps out. If he hits yeah. it full, that cue ball will stop dead. So out of our out of our viewers, I'm curious who's uh, who's the furthest away from Mountain View. Yeah, that's who's, right. Who's we got our any, long distance viewer? We got anybody in uh, East Coast? Yeah. Uh, in the chat room too, because we only have about 22 people in the chat room. Oh, okay. We have 150 people watching. We'll get in the chat room, guys. Well, Don't we got Teal in the in in Philly, from Philly. Nice. Right on. You know the Fuscos? Some great players out of Philly. Billy and Cardona. Yeah. How about Staten Island? That's where I used to be. San many Leandro. Years ago. Where's San Leandro? That's over that's across that's the bay. Okay. Not too far. Okay. I'm from Los Angeles, so. Nice. Oh, Mar just bun the ball down. I think you need one more click on it. Nope, we got it. Nice shot. Wow. Like a thief in the night. Right across from the BART station. That's nice. right. As we're... Uh, two to one. As we're getting to know our audience, uh, uh, Amar is turning Just, the screws and winning a game. Yeah, made a beautiful two-rower. Beautiful two So that's going to make it two games to one. <clears throat> Let me change the score there. Sorry about that, guys. Like Buddy Hall used to say, that's how you do that. Mm, yeah, there you go. And uh want to thank everybody for coming on the stream here, watching POV Pool and Fast Lenny side-by-side -side on the AZ Billiards website. And I got more coffee coming. I want to thank yeah, Mike yeah. Howerton and Jerry uh, Forsyth for, yes. well, this for uh, accommodating us with a split-screen stream for the whole week. We're very grateful for that. Thank you, thank you. And I uh, definitely want to thank all the people for coming out. Right. Mars going to take his break after Manny's break. All right. You want to go get more coffee? Um, actually, I just ordered some, but I am going to oh, run good. to the restroom. All right. Here, I'll, I'll turn you down. And okay. Bye, guys. We'll, we'll see you in a few minutes yes. if you want. Yeah, I'll be okay. back in a bit. Oh, great.
Craig Odom, everyone. At uh, Odin. 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 Yes. Which in German means vast wasteland. Oh, uh, vast, vast <laughs> wasteland. Oh. Craig, the vast wasteland. So, uh, just want to remind you guys, uh, we got, I got another stream coming up in May. Let everybody know about our wonderful stream in May. Coming to you from Hard Times Billiards in Bellflower, California, the $5,000 added 10 ball open. You guys ready to rock? Play some 10 ball. And I want to thank my sponsor, Kamui. John Bertone and Kamui Tips and Kamui Billiard Products. And also, I want to let you guys know that if you donate to POV Pool, uh, in order to help me continue streaming and providing you guys with free live streams and entertainment, you can you have an opportunity now to receive a free voucher for Kamui Tip uh, by donating $25 or more to Point of View Pool, POV Pool, on my website. Just go to povpool.com slash donate and you can donate $25 or more to uh, our streaming fund and I will mail you a Kamui Tip voucher redeemable at any Kamui Tip dealer in the United States. So think about it, guys. Support your local pool streamer. Or your not-so-local pool streamer. Send me a check from Philly to my P.O. Box. 144. In La Cañada, California, 9010121291012. Post office changed my zip code. Yep. La Cañada, California, 91012. That is POV Pool. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoy this rest of this match here.
So just a quick update for you folks. We got a score of 2-1. Amar is ahead one game. It's a race of three. And uh, no ball count as of yet on this, on this game. Straight 10 ball, great shot, but uh, not a huge reward for making that shot. It's basically only worth one ball. Beavers, do you have any tape? Yeah. This just came off. Manny lays up, and I don't think this ball is bankable for Amar, so he's just going to think of a way to get this ball out, out of reach and try to bring the cue ball up, probably by the nine somehow. Uh, I would have liked to have gone up a little higher, but I don't think Manny's... Well, he might see that 12-14 looks bankable to me, actually. That's right, Raftil Combo Bank. The banks are open. Maybe he could supersize that combo. Ooh, I think the cue ball actually feathered against the 14 on the way over there. dead bank for, uh, oh, I didn't know he was blocked. Oh, good work with the cue ball. Oh, I didn't notice that he left the bank. I wasn't looking. That did not work out the way Manny had wanted. <laughs> and there we have it. It's kind of a case of uh, Manny having some opportunities, but not really taking, making the best of them. So Amar is going to come back to the table and probably try to nudge that eight ball out of way so he can open up the seven. And now he's even got a shot on the six. And I 
think probably what he'll do with this is carom the 12 down to the end rail, leave himself a cut on the seven. And, uh, and then go for the 12 after the seven ball. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna carry this down. Oh, he hits a little harder, okay. Oh, uh, I kinda like my shot, but. And back with me right now is Craig, the vast waste land. Yeah. How you doing, Craig? Uh, good, good, good. How are we doing here? What I miss? Well, uh, it's two to one now. Amar is up, okay. and uh, one, the one, ball one counts again. one one okay. right now. But um, Manny had a chance again wow. to like get a three or four ball run, and he just can't quite get it going. the second shot. Mm -hmm. He got made one ball and dodged the second shot. Well, it's funny, you know, I always uh, I always considered nine ball and ten ball uh, games of execution uh, in one pocket. You know, you rod to miss a little bit here and there. But in reality, it's almost more treacherous. And uh, the fragility of a run that you're on, knowing that if you miss a ball, you're going to pay, can yeah, get, can get you know. in your head without doubt. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, a lot of players don't know this, but the more you actually, you know, make the opponent wait, the more frustrated they get anyway. Oh, and, no. and, and the more goofed. likely they're, oh man. Um, definitely, yeah. You know, definitely. The more likely they're gonna, definitely. they are to make a mistake. Definitely, you know. sure. You know, there are times though too, that you have to know your opponent in some cases because like, it, you know, you try to do that with Corey Duell and he's, he's yeah. not gonna, He'll take a whole week. Yeah. You know, you know. Well, I was fortunate when I grew up in Redwood City. Nick Varner used to come into town quite often because his wife's Tony's mom used to live in Redwood City. So whenever on the West Coast, he'd play. Uh -huh. And yeah, he was that way. He'd sit and watch paint dry. He doesn't care. Yeah. He'd knock all 15 balls in the corner, play one at a time. Yeah, yeah. But playing your opponent, definitely. It's it's a variable in the equation that uh, that can allow you to pick up percentage points. You know, not, not cheating or being underhanded, mm -hmm. but playing a specific way, definitely. Yeah. Okay, right, well. Good for Manny, he's making, now he's making a couple balls, yeah. which is good. Namar made another mistake, and eventually Manny's gonna get loose. Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, that can bode poorly for Namar. I think uh, that's number five. Yeah. We wanted to get a little straighter on that. Come that down is, bank seven. That is five now of eight. But he'll, he'll come across and he'll, he'll either go into those balls or come down to oh, bank yeah. seven. I don't like that. I think no. he should have followed. He held it up a little bit more than he wanted to. Well, this is most probably still bankable. Automatic safe right here. Yeah. yeah that's a good oh, shot. He left a, no, he left yeah, a no, bank. No, he did. He left a one ball. He just hit it too hard. Yeah, he left an easy bank. And uh, he, he didn't keep the seven in play as much as he needed to. You know what, too? I think I think if he does bank this, he can, he he can follow past comes the eight the seven. and come around yeah. the other side of the seven. Exactly, yeah. He hits this correctly. He can uh, he can go up 3-1. He's up 2-1, yes? Amar is? Yes, two games yeah, to one right yeah. now. He's got a chance here to go up three. Stay down, follow through. Okay, he doesn't come past the seven. He got the one now. Did he? Oh, I thought he did. Well, look where he left Manny. Yeah. Manny, this is do or die for Manny. This, right is, this is what you call applying direct pressure. Yeah, but Manny's going to just make this. Yeah. All right, this is going to put us at 6-5 Manny in this game. 
Oh, he scratched. Oh, my. Uh, do you think he tried to scratch? <laughs> or no, do you, no, no. There's no, no way he tried to oh, scratch. No. no, of course not. Not with the three uh, and the eight there. He can exhale now, though. Yeah, exactly. He's sitting there shaking his head, smiling at the chair. And he knows he got away with a little bit there. Um, well, this seven ball is too railable. It's actually a good shot. Two rail to seven. Lamar needs... Lamar needs three of them. There he is. There is a kiss here. But it shouldn't be a problem. The thing about this shot, he's got to put a little pepper on it to get the cue ball out. Just a little. I hit it well. A little heavy. Mandy can get out of this. Um, he's got a two rail this up by the side pocket. Leave the cue ball there. Yeah, see, so you put so much pepper on it, you put that on a Mars. Or if he rolls that and puts that cue ball just below the side pocket on his side. Mandy needs something he can fire at. He's got to put some. He needs to put some penalty on the table for Amar, and right now there isn't any. Two rail the eight, three rail the three. No, that's insanity. <laughs> that's funny. I thought these were Brunswick's. Oh wow. He hit it that pretty well. Could, that could have been lethal. Well, yeah, I know. He took that five, seven, anything. He's in big trouble. Yeah. That could have been suicide. Mm -hmm. Suicide. That's a little, not bad. That's what Manny should have done with seven, I think. He needs to get something to distract him into making a mistake. it right now. I'm oh, to two rail this ball. <clears throat> Just don't scratch. Again, that was risky. It didn't didn't take enough angle out of that. Yeah, he knows he was worried about scratching the side, I think, because it kind of looked like it wanted to. A little tester here. Yeah, yeah. He's got him in a bunt mode now. technically possible. I think my main concern here is just getting that cue ball stuck on that end rail. Yeah, you don't want to miss and leave any banks no, right now. Just throw it down there and it's get your cue ball taken care of. It's too close in the game. I don't think this three is going to go. Yeah, so you know, I would have been more conscious of the uh, cue ball. But look really at that. Just, no, that that's he's got just, heat. That's just fortunate right there. Maybe they can kick under this, where if he gets them stuck down on that end rail, Take away half his cue ball. Brilliant. Look at this. He's going for the kick. I'm going for the bank. I eh, got that ball in play. I needed that. But, uh. I see this ball. Mark probably might kick at that seven ball two rails. It's not a bad chance to think about. They're going to go rail first for the three. I don't know if I like this. You catch the wrong side of that three, you catch it full. 
you can really get hurt. Well, this is tough because I'd kick two rails at seven. Send your cue ball back down table. Well, you got to put a lot of follow on it. Uh, yeah, this, That's is, what this is tough. This is tough. Uh, I like the side rail. Side rail, bottom rail, seven. Can what, put about, what about, what about, I don't know, thin kicking it, rail first, and, and p bring the cue ball back up table? Mm. You know I like I'm this. The, the key to this is getting to the bottom uh, rail. He's, he's no, got to get to going, the bottom rail. He's going back. He's kicking. Yeah. This if way. he doesn't get to the bottom rail, he can be in trouble. But if he gets to the bottom rail, he'll be okay. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> no, I was talking about a kick the other way from, well, anyway. That's just one of my crazy Daniel shots. Yeah, there you go. Well, see, that again there, that was a more just having the shot and then not being natural with it. I don't mean to talk bad about his game because his game's beautiful. Uh, but that was one where he's got his foot on the throat and you got it. Oh, well, man, he's just going to give it to him. Although he didn't just give it to him. Tough combo. Might bank six here. Spanky79, back in the chat room. You have been promoted. <laughs> Welcome back. Sitting here with uh, uh, Craig Odin, uh, a.k.a. the Vast uh, Vast The Vast Vast Land. <laughs> Do they call you that? No, no, no. <laughs> Not to my face. Not to my face. <laughs> What do you mean, rock teal? These, these guys stink. stink. I don't oh, know, man. Uh, they're pretty uh, strong. Yeah, I think they're fishing. That's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're just, waiting for you to come over. They're poking the bear. <laughs> All right, well, Mar needs three more. Yep, he needs three of them. He wants to do some. Yeah, yeah Amar needs one ball. And, uh, uh, no, Mar needs, uh, he needs three of them. Oh, he needs three now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's right. It was uh, yeah, Manny that Manny was needs, Manny needs two now. I really want to get a little higher. Yeah. Well, I just want to cinch this bank. Could try to kill it. He, he needs to make this ball. Yeah, just cinch this ball. And that was good speed, I'll tell you that. I don't I don't even care if it doesn't go. No, that, that was fine. Speed. That was fine. Yeah, it was tough to hold that cue ball for the seven. <clears throat> Manny says no. Uh, Manny, Manny decides to scratch, huh? Yeah, he take the penalty. So the ball count coming Looks right like up. Six, six to six, six five, five, six yeah. five or more. Well, you can do a couple things. You can do your standard draw, which is probably the right shot. You're gonna hit the six, draw it off, try to get down below the seven, just see where everything shakes out. Mm-hmm. There's a chance you can make that 15. Looks like Scott Frost and Diego are done. And ideally just floats us, floats us down to about half diamond, falls under the seven. Oh, he drew it. Also a good way to play it. He hit it pretty good. Yeah, look at this. Uh, good shot, good shot. Well, this is tough. Hey, bank the six in the 15, cross bank the 15 into the eight, you're out. Uh, it's just that easy. Well, uh, that that'll was, work, that'll work. Yeah. Pretty much all he could do there, and he got he got he got away. Mm -hmm. So that was good. He wants three rail that six, but it doesn't look quite right. The best thing for him to do is just get that seven ball locked up. He's got the ball count lead. Get it to where you got two balls in play, and then play that way. 
Got a 2 1 lead. Stern at a 3 1 lead. Again, just want to bank this up table and freeze that cue ball to the side rail. Unless he goes for the 3 rail on the 7, which I don't think he will. Too aggressive. He wants that 3 railer. Yeah. Well, he can win if he makes it, but I don't like the angle. Yeah, he's just got to get this out, freeze him to the side rail, and grind it out. There you go. Of course, that's not what I would have done, but I think that was the smart shot. <laughs> now he wanted three or all that six. Wasn't the right shot. And Manny needs to try to develop some kind of position. Took care of his cue ball. That's what he needs to do. It's amazing how... Uh, I'm freezing the cue ball to the rail. No matter where you are, you take away two-thirds of that cue ball, it makes the simple shots more difficult. Yeah, yeah that's true. And that's, you know, something I, like I say, I watch Efren, anything I can find with Efren playing. And he's just so good at it. He's going to try to two-rail it, but there's a scratch if he catches it full. Uh, he wanted a, wanted a little rub, didn't quite get it. All right, he's got a bank. I think you just want to stay down and hit this one as pure as you can. Mm -hmm. In a perfect world, to freeze him up behind the seven. Actually, in a perfect world, he gets by the seven, he can bank it next. But I like him. Now see, if he's on the frozen on the rail, this is not so easy. But he's got room to work. He can get comfortable. Oh, man, he's got the speed down nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that hit that nice. excellent. Hit another half a quick would have been perfect. He banked seven. He still banked seven. But he got a little cut to it now. But that was a nice shot. Seven down, one to go for Amar. Uh, I don't like what he did there. That was very passive. It was a weird shot. It was a very strange shot. I think he was between yeah. between ideas. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> it's like Lucy from Peanuts said, I'm never wrong. I thought I was wrong once, but I was incorrect. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, well, again, bankable ball. Just wants to kill it a little bit, get down the kiss. Put a good stroke on it. Hit it then, hit it then. This ball's bankable. Did it well. Needed another another dash of paprika on it. But he got his cue ball nice, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get this ball. Yeah. Yeah. Roberts, your garlic yeah. fries are ready. Mm, garlic fries. <laughs> Well, Marsh is just giving this, lay the cue ball down the end rail. You made a nice bank, take your lick. Mars got seven. This is going to give Manny six. Well, he's taking it out. Nice. That nice was a work. nice takeout. Good work. He had a little more room than I thought, but that was a very nice shot. Amar's, Amar's catching his game a little bit here. He's got amazing finesse. Yeah, just well, Amar, you know, unfortunately for Manny, 
he's been giving enough chances to Omar to really kind of like yeah. ease into yeah. this match. Yeah, and he's uh, he's he's had his uh, proverbial foot on the throat, just yeah. hasn't been able to step. Yeah, and it's not that's not a place you want Omar to be in. Not that I'm condoning you know. that, kids. Huh? Not that I'm condoning stepping on people's necks. <laughs> I think too real this ball. No, he's he's going into passive mode. And that's a little too passive. This ball's uh, too real will fit. I mean, he can get silly and try to cross back it and make the five, but that's a little aggressive. What a one. Well, you know, he's forcing Manny to to just shoot at everything right now. Well, Lamar's got the game right where he wants it. Yeah. They got two balls in holes, and he's playing one ball, one pocket. Absolutely. Yeah, Manny uh, needs to find a way to get those balls back in play somehow. Lamar should just bank this up the rail soft. Nothing fancy. Well, he went aggressive. I don't know. He's leaving him something. Well, yeah, I think it floated it, up high enough to, yeah. to play keep away, but actually yeah. he's got a two rail. He's got right the two rail. Here. I think Amar got a little bored there and decided to fire yeah. at something. Yeah. Scratch? Oh, 15 uh, safe. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was that was lucky. Uh, you know, I mean. Yeah, no, actually. He could have rolled behind the 15 and still yeah. scratched. And where the, where the seven ball ended up, he's glad he didn't make it because yeah. Mar would have had a free shot. Exactly. But he does want to get that 15 and five back in play. This ball can double kiss if he doesn't hit it good. Man, I need to get a line on a couple of matches. Uh, any other matches anybody else need to know about? Or game or players in this. And don't say all of them. <laughs> I'm coming a little short with it. Match and I know plays at seven o'clock mm -hmm. real soon. And Machin did win his first uh, yeah. match against uh, what's Ka Jim Ka Joe Ka Nim. I didn't know who he was playing. I think uh, Jerry plays Joe. good. Jerry's Ka a grinder. Or Jim. Yeah, Jerry's a good player. Yeah, he's owner a, of Sticks Billiards in mm -hmm, Ventura. Mm -hmm. a nice guy. Very nice guy. A, a yeah. True, true fan of the game. Yeah, I ran into him actually in the uh, <laughs> breakfast lounge at the uh, hotel this no, morning. Nice. Uh, you Wait. staying across the street? Yep, don't yeah, look at the nice crest for you here. Really yeah, nice, nice hotel. Uh, for the for the locale, you know, sure. right across the street. Yes. Well, what's he gonna do, Amar? Probably just gonna play this ball cross cross table, get the cue ball down here. Are he is he kick banking it? I see if he is I don't like it because he's gonna make fifteen and he don't wanna make that fifteen. He's got the table set up nice. I think he's exercised a little more patience. Especially when, when you're up 2 1. 3 1's huge compared to 2 2. Very important game. Yeah, didn't like it. Yeah. Too aggressive. Yeah. He should have just clipped it, come down table. Gonna pocket this. Not a bad idea. Get the ball back in play. And now he's got to dodge a bullet. Apathy one in the chat room asking about Bo Runnigan. I tell you what, I wish he was. Hmm. Uh, Bo is a fantastic uh, player. Absolutely, and reminds me a lot of Johnny Archer when he was young, younger. Hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, 
as far as playing style. Yeah, can get it done. Uh, and Bo has a lot of potential. I really, I really would like to see Bo competing a lot more in the near future. In fact, I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with him and, and get, a, uh, get a line on him for the Hard Times 10 Ball event because I, I know he should play that event mm -hmm. uh, in Bellflower coming up May 4th through 6th. Now, have you heard anything about this uh, North-South challenge uh, with the Hard Times? Um, Tony Torres. Tony Torres and I were were discussing a potential. Yeah, he you know, mentioned it to me, and I, I haven't heard anything. We've sent of a couple it. emails uh, back and forth uh, mm. about uh, uh, talking about cultivating some type of sure. a north-south matchup. I like uh, it. Uh, but the last we've really spoken about it was, uh, I think, like four four months ago. Nothing really has no movement yet. But mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I think that's because of you know. We have to really look at the whole calendar year and figure out where it would all fit. Exactly. You know? and well, we've been uh, watching Amar and Manny bat these balls around. Manny's actually improved the table, got the five ball back in play. Yeah, and uh, you know, Amar needs to. Amar needs to close this out. He could try bank the. Uh, he's he's he getting passive. I don't want to make there that ball. Go. Now that's, oh, that's what you want to do. Oh, that's really Don't what sneeze. You do. <clears throat> he's gonna, he's just, yeah. No, did Mark's that seven ball move? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah, Okay. just rubbed it. Well, he can go for this bank if he wants. I don't know. Hey, you know, I, I might just roll the seven into the 15. You know, put your cue ball next to the five. And he didn't want to make anything. All right. Uh, yeah, I was asking uh, uh, Craig Odin about that, uh, whether or not Amar learned from his cousin Tony. With Tony, yeah. Uh, and um, I'm sure quite a bit cool from Tony. Cool Junkie uh, is, uh, I guess you're stating that as fact, so. <laughs> yeah, well, the, Tony and Amar are, you know, hand in hand. You know, they're very close. Yeah. They're both brilliant players. Slightly different, stuff, more styles. You know, Tony's very, uh, Tony's really almost like he doesn't care, but he just plays phenomenally. You know, Omar's more of a thinker. Thank you. Uh, yeah. But they're both jam up players. Tony does things that you're just not supposed to be able to do. When I, uh, when I was up at Hollywood, the guy's just bunting the balls here. Uh, Grady Matthews came into town for three or four days, and he played. This is mm. my goodness, mm. 99, 2000, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and he played Tony some races, the three for 500 a set, and they played three of them. Mm. And Tony won all three in about an hour and a half. And Tony shot every circus shot I've ever seen, and he nailed every shot that he pulled the trigger on. It was wow. one of the most disgusting wow. things I've ever seen. I feel bad for Grady. Grady had no chance. Mm. And you're such a talking Grady, too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I every like once show. in a while, you know, the champ, the, the king of the mountain uh, gets knocked off sure. for, for a little while by the new kid on the block, sure. you know? And uh, yeah, Grady was a great player. Grady was real fast and loose, but he was a wonderful, wonderful man and a great ambassador. He'll be missed. I have some great stories from his trip, which I can't relay over here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but he was a kick. Oh, no. Is a, what, do you, do you, what do you think this is? Uh, well, I'll use different this, words. This, uh, uh, yeah. Nickelodeon we're, we're on? Funny. Or, uh, I'm just kidding. Well, when, uh, Let's Mar talk to me. Yeah, Mar 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 <laughs> Mar Mar might go for this bank here. Uh, yeah, Gray was in town with his wife, Randy, who was a very nice woman. She's a school teacher, like very quiet, very polite, very Midwestern. Uh, and we were at dinner one night, and we were talking about his book, Bed High and Kiss Low, which in the first chapter he talks about being in San Francisco and going to Cochran's, which was now Hollywood. And he, he meets a girl, and, you know, they takes her home, they take a shower, and da-da-da. And I guess Randy's wife had typed the book for him. She edited it. <laughs> and uh, like I said, she's very polite, very mild-mannered. We're okay. sitting at dinner, and we're talking about it. I said, yeah, yeah, the first chapter's a little racy. Yeah. And then Randy goes to Grady. She goes, uh, she didn't use these words. She says, you know, you made love to that girl for seven pages, and you never made love to me for more than three. <laughs> Which, like I said, she's explicative. And, oh, my wow. goodness, funny. Made my jaw drop. Now, that's an hour north hour.
Well, that story wasn't so bad. No, well, like I said, I didn't swear. <laughs> Going for the three railer, went along. No, well, they're still bunting him around. But Manny has definitely improved the table. He's gotten everything back in play, which is what he needed to do. That's true, but it's still three balls we're talking about. He's, yeah, see, that's the, that's the thing. If he's going to go for a ball, he needs to make it. Yeah. He just can't, he cannot come close or whatever. Because that's going to be a Mars chance to turn the rack right back around. Certainly. Do you have the keys or do I? The car keys? No, no, take the car if you want to. But bring me my jacket, which is in the car. Thank you. That was a real nice play there. Yep. And just so you, go, you know, guys, in case uh, you don't know how to read or if you're in full screen, we are going to have a match after this at 7.30, or I believe, no, 7 o'clock. 7. And that'll be uh, on this table that you're watching right now. Jose Perica versus Gus Briseno, which I don't know much about. I don't, Who, know, I don't Gus, know much no. about. And on the, on the opposite table here, the Fast Lenny stream table, will be Jeff Gregory, a local mm. player to uh, uh, Mountain View, San Jose area here, versus Rodney Morris. Mm. Jeff's a good friend of mine. I've played many, many hours with Jeff. Uh, and he Very can nice play. Guy. Very Jeff's nice a great guy. guy. He's uh, commentated with me a couple times. Yeah, no, he's a real jerk. I mean, no, he's, he's a good guy. <laughs> Known him many years. And he's a good one fucking player. He, uh, he might give Rodney all he can handle. Yeah. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for those matches at 7 o'clock. And I believe that might be the last official match of the day. I think. Uh... Uh, so, by all means, you know, folks, we might get some action. Uh, in fact, I should start finding out about that as soon as possible. Wow, I watched that. See if there's any action ball. going on. I've heard a bunch of chirping. Uh, we'll see if it turns into anything. I should have everybody officially report any action to uh, our tournament direction. To Kenny, nice. To, and by, by the way, I want to thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Janet. Janet uh, and, Okamoto. Uh, Okamoto and Ken Schumann yes. for doing a wonderful job today so far. And also Chris Swart mm, yeah, of, uh, guys of running this tournament. Yeah, putting the money up. Definitely Very nice. hats off to them. And, uh, you know, couldn't pick, couldn't have picked better people to run a tournament. Yeah. And, uh, uh, like they said, do the, a really good job of uh, everything they do. Yeah, the uh, equipment is jam up. Yeah, and the You're not going to find better. Dominguez is uh, for, you know, doing such a great job on the equipment. Mars going for the kill. Looks pretty good. Uh, short, short. Yeah, short. Yeah, pretty everything's short. coming a little short on the banks. Well, uh, Manny's Manny's got a chance here. I think he's got to go. What do you think about the seven-five combo? I that way, he's he's safe uh, off the one. That's true. You can't can play safe. He's probably gonna go back up and down, try to get for that seven. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, no. uh, you know what? I like the seven-one yeah, okay, com no. the seven-five combo much better. Yeah, it is. A, it was a much safer poke at it because he he, he could play it two rails, and get in front of the behind the one ball. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They were even just float it one rail to the side rail. Yeah. It's pretty safe shot. But then again, you know. I'm yeah. not. Uh, I'm not Manny Chow. No, I'm not a Mark Hanks, No, so. and I, I don't. I don't question either of their abilities or uh, their knowledge because they're both fantastic players. Easy to do from the seat. Lamar's going to try to just make this ball. Uh, just a moment. And there it is. Three to one, Lamar. I think. Yeah, that's that's it. Okay. Oop, they left me behind the wheel. Heaven help us all. All right, three to one, Amar. No, oh, Manny did good there. He got the balls back in play. Uh, didn't like that last choice. Although that five ball is real pocketable, come back down for the seven. Like I said, the playing the the seven five combo and either going for it or just laying your cue ball up on the side rail. Either way, probably was the best decision. 
It was too bad because he worked hard to get the table back in his favor. Not in his favor, but get the table back to where he could do something. And, uh, and then he got a shot and it didn't happen. But that uh, that happens. Sure, yeah, sure. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Too bad you can't be here. Great venue. A lot of great players here. I mean, when you look around, you see John Schmidt. Goodness, Scott Frost. What other champions do I see? I got my back to most of the people. There's Francisco Bustamante. He's easy. Uh, a lot of great pool. Dan Louis here. A lot of great pool being played. All right, the Mars up 3-1, his break. As uh, the great Roger Stowe would say, the betting window is open. Uh, 3-1 Amar. Uh, 15 come out. Well, that's, that's not what he wanted. All right. Well, he come out and try to hit that 10, knock the 14, 12 off the 11. And he's going to get the three. Hang right on. I think he can play this a couple ways. He can float down under the one, float down in. I would probably float down under the one, try and knock it up a little bit, play the two next. Play the bank on the 13, then the one, something like that. A couple of those balls don't look bad in the stack. Let's see, he's got to get... You've got to go forward a little bit. A little bit of uh, left-hand English so you get under the one coming off it. Again, very easy for me to say from here. Mm, nice guy to watch his cue ball. Got to watch cue ball. Oh, he made a ball. Well, he got lucky. Yeah, it's very easy on that shot to have that cue ball squirt out like it did there. He didn't make that ball. He's in big trouble. But he did, so he's not. What's the, uh, I'm not sure what he's got planned here. Sorry, I'm laughing my mic. Doesn't look like 10 balls on or the 11. One ball might be on. He's looking at it. He's looking at the 14. A tough angle to see exactly from here. I gotta watch his cue ball. Well, if he can get to that 14, I don't like it. But if he can't get to the 14, not bad. Although that five ball's in a tough spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, if he's got room, I think he should just go here. Make the bank, do what you can. It's a good shot. What he's got here? 12 8, you can't tell. I mean, yeah, you could two rail that five, bring him right back on top of that 13. But if this is a very makeable shot, it's what he should be doing. But if he doesn't like it, yeah, two row that five, stick him on back or something. You got him 3 1. Last thing you want to do right now is give him any air. It's a good shot. All right, Lamar looks good. This match might be over. Looking at my phone, it looks like well, at least one person's listening. Thank you, darling. Uh, yes, I told the Grady story, but I didn't swear. So it's not as good. you got to swear. Lamar looks good. He should be out here. What has he got? Uh, looks like Manny's got three sides. So Lamar's got three as well. 
And then they're all right there. He's just got to pick the right pattern. Come back for the seven. And he's sticking with the six. Well, if the 12 goes, 6 1 12 7. Maybe. Six nine eleven. Yeah, he's going coming back. I guess he's going to the twelve next. Yeah. yeah I don't know. I may have flowed down for the one there. But again, easy for me to say from the seats. Yeah, get up. Yeah, just enough. And that, my friend, should be all all she wrote. Well, I play at seven, so I'm gonna hit some balls. And a couple stiff drinks. There you go. Amar Kang beats Manny Chow four to one. Good shoot, Amar. Good match. All right. Uh, so who we got up next? I can't remember who he said. It's Parika versus Gus, and I don't know Gus, but it should be a good match. Uh, thanks for listening. I don't know where uh, Daniel went. They left me here so well. Bust into my karaoke. No, we don't want that. All right, so we've got about a 35-minute wait, and we'll have our next match. Uh, good shoot, Namar. Very nice. Yeah, that was a good match. Uh, both guys played good. A little tentative at points, but they made some nice uh, shots. And many had some opportunities to let slip through his fingers, but uh, don't count on him to keep doing that. I know he's going to take advantage next time. Uh, hopefully I don't see him any time in the future, because uh, after that match, he's going to be ready to play. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to sign off for now. Uh, I don't know if Daniel wants dead air or not. So uh, let's see who we got sitting around. We got James Duvall's, a.k.a. Salt. Anybody uh, it's an old-timer in the San Francisco Bay Area knows him. Uh, great player, great stake man, great gambler. Uh, has been around for 50 years. Knows everybody. Known them all since they were kids. Marsha Williams coming in. There's George Michaels. Oh, Chris McDonald, Josh Palmer. A lot of great players. Memo, another great name from this area from in the Wayback Machine. Memo's got to be almost 80 now, I think. Still plays good one pocket. This man's got a lot of knowledge. There's Perica discussing something with Santos. Probably trying to figure out how to hit a stop shot. Um, don't worry, keep practicing. You'll get it, guys. There's Eric Krauss, another great local player. All right, I'll be right back. Additional, oh shoot! I was on. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. Once again, that was uh, that was a Mark Kang and Manny Chow. We're gonna have another match coming up for you in about half an hour. Or so, uh, probably like 25 minutes. So stay tuned. Seven o'clock. The next match starts, and I will be right back. I'm gonna take a quick break, and I'm gonna be back with you in about five or six minutes to. Uh, uh, to uh, keep you guys company, all right? Thanks.